To get started, we're using a Tiemco 3769 size 16, just a short shank nymph fuck with a 2.5 millimeter tungsten bead. Obviously, you can use larger, sometimes even smaller flies with bigger or smaller beads as well. And I've been using this on the point position on a Euro rig, fishing a little deeper in the water column. But if you want to fish this higher in the water column, maybe with a dry dropper rig or like a grease leader formula, you can obviously replace the tungsten bead with a brass. So to get started, we're going to use a 6 out tying thread. Just make enough wraps behind that bead to eliminate that bead from sliding back. Once we've accomplished that, just take our thread. We're going to wrap back and let the thread hang approximately above the barb. We're going to create a ball of dubbing for the rear abdomen on this ant. You can use any dubbing. Recently I've been using some of this Wopsy spiky squirrel dubbing in a black what I like about this dubbing is once you catch a couple fish, if you catch a couple fish, these guard hairs will kind of start popping out, giving it a little more meatier, natural look, almost like a wounded ant pattern with mangled legs. And to get these legs, get this ball of dubbing, we're just going to make a series of figure eights basically on top of itself. Maintain just the key with this, just slight tension, not too much going around and once we create the ball of dubbing just go around several times securing that thread you can slide that thread and really kind of bunch that ball together really locking that into place now just take your thread we're going to split the difference between the ball of dubbing and the bead and then also making sure that the threads halfway in between the legs that you're using on this can be any material, it can be hen hackle, can be traditional rooster hackle in the black. But within the last couple weeks, a friend of mine, Tori Collins from Upcountry Fly Shop on the Farmington River in Connecticut was telling me a lot of the guys he knew were tying this wet ant pattern with rubber legs. And the rubber legs that they're using is a hairline product called Daddy Long Legs. It's like a span flex much micro version of Spanflex. And we're going to just tie in about three strands of this leg material, do a pinch technique. Try to do a pinch technique. And just hold those legs into place. Once you do one loop, kind of slide the legs where you want them to go, maintaining a small degree of tension. We're going to wrap around the one side, locking those legs in. Keep in tension, wrap around, securing the other side in as well. And then also, in doing so, just kind of locking those legs in and attempting to achieve a perpendicular position relative to the hook shank. From my experience, the smaller the rubber the legs, the more challenging it can become. But this is this is doable. This is acceptable right here. Once we lock the legs in, we're going to trim the legs about, about the same length as the shank. Remember with rubber legs it's always easier to take off than add on. So always cut long first and if you need to trim, you can always trim. To finish this fly off, just take our whip finish. We're going to do a two, three whip finish. Secure that, snip. Now, to make sure this thread doesn't come undone, and then also to add a little density, we're gonna take this Loon UV fly finish in a black color, a little dab right here on the bead, and also on the thread, increasing some of the bulk on this front section to really give it that nice segmented look. Hit it with your UV light. Release. And there you have it. This is a simple but very effective wet amp pattern. I've been fishing the last couple weeks with great success. So I just wanted to share it with you and I appreciate everyone watching. Take care and good fishing.